YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing a digital voice recorder that I got from AliExpress. Uh, in the past, I have a video of this voice recorder, the Sony ICD PX470, that I did to kind of show the comparison between recording to a voice recorder versus recording directly to my camcorder but I wanted to get a backup voice recorder and I saw this online and was very intrigued about it this is known as the SK502 it does not <laughs> have a brand name uh, one of those Chinese products that tend to stick a brand name depending on who's selling it on top of it but I really kind of like the design. Uh, there was not a review on this that I could find on YouTube in English. There's one, and I don't even know the language. So I figured I'd grab it, I'd take a look at it, and give it a shot. I will be doing a second review of this, comparing its audio quality with the Sony uh, PX470 will be my next video on this product. So let me kind of get into it a little bit. This, this product is in an aluminum case. Um, it has some weight to it. It might, <laughs> well, probably maybe weigh about the same. It feels a little heavier. Uh, very slim design. On the back here, I kind of show you some of the functions. Now, let me mention, I did purchase this for about $25. I searched around to get the cheapest price I could get it will run as much as 40 bucks and I see a ridiculous price which I will not mention on the back here we'll have things labeled you have a headset uh, the reason I really wanted this one is that it has a mic input so you can plug up a lavalier mic uh, you have DVR and music it kind of doubles as a little mp3 player if you slip, uh, switch it to music you can download files to it to use it just as an MP, mp3 player and then put those files in a separate folder you have a delete button on the side here and an a and b which gives you some more file folder options uh, over here you have a micro usb to plug it up to power it also to download your files if need be um, a lock and unlock so that if you stick it in your pocket you can lock it and that way the buttons doesn't get pushed and things doesn't uh, get offset have a small reset hole here and you have a micro USB port right here at the bottom so that's the back it does have dual speakers left and right channel at the top there's a little red light right here when you plug it up to charge it the little red light comes on and I can't remember whether it was blinking or not uh, to let you know that you're charging and your screen I still have the uh, little screen saver on there and you have a up and down volume it says plus minus and this one says uh, left and right like rewind and forward you have a record button and you have your play and pause button and the stop button that's kind of that in order to turn it on you hold down the play and pause button you get a little welcome and you have your screen uh, lots of data on the screen another reason I wanted this one and I wanted to try this one is that it has a little uh, bar graph that kind of shows you your input levels I'm not going to say it's all that great it also has this thing here so I'm going to show you a little bit it has uh, on the screen here it shows your what rate uh, 256 kilobytes per second is the rate I have it set at it shows how many recordings um, the one that's on is like 
<laughs> negative one second. I think I probably hit the record button and hit it again. You have your battery indicator, which is full. Uh, your date and time scrolling across the screen it shows you also what uh, setting that I'm in as a wave file. Uh, it is on stop, speaker. This is the volume setting. If I hit this up and down of the speaker, it has a little built-in speaker here so you can listen to your recordings. It shows that I'm on A and it shows that it's, it will go to each track. And this little thing here is really, uh, it looks like a big EQ thing, but it's just decoration. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, when you hit the record, let's say to record. Uh, and because I wanted to see the little bar graph, I'm gonna hit the record button. Takes a moment, and if you can see that the little bar graph is jumping across to uh, negative six all the way to zero, and it shows a left and right channel. I'm not sure how uh, accurate that might be, and and you can see it recording. It's recording the sixth thing here that I'm recording and the number of seconds. So if I hit the stop button, it saves the recording. If I hit the play button, it takes a moment. And if you can see that, the little bar graph is jumping across to uh, negative six all the way to zero, and it shows a left and right channel. And you can hit stop and and these, like I say, if these buttons, if they had to put some white in there, but you know, where well, you could actually see them or they lit up, that would be great, but <laughs> that's not the situation. Uh, again, you saw this little graph going. It means nothing. It is absolute, a little EQ, repetitious gyration, and it means nothing as far as your bass, your mid-tones, or your lows. That's not what it's really showing. So, that's the outside. Uh, all the way around it um, side of it next let's go ahead and get into the menu of this now let me let me mention it did come with a user manual which is incomplete by a long shot by a long shot it does have stuff on here but a lot of the functions in the menu which is this button here in the middle are not mentioned in this thing here it also came in this bubble wrap inside of this package no box you notice there wasn't a model number or anything on the back it also came with this lever lil mic that was broken there's the little spring for the clip on here it does not have a little foam thing on here or anything and Here's the kicker. It doesn't work at all. Also came with a set of headphones that are that barely work at all. I mean, they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. And that's all that came into in the box. So let's get into the menu settings. Okay, guys, hopefully that's not too dark. But let's dig in here. First time we hit the menu button and you have five different folders here with a lot of stuff in it. Um, save position. In order to, you hit the menu button, then you hit the play pause button. That enters you in to each of the functions. Here it has a TF for your micro SD card or flash. You can use either one of these up and down side here to switch between if you want to so this first one if you want to record directly to the flash drive if you put one in now this does have eight gigabytes of internal memory so I don't see using a a micro SD card on this and you pick your one you want and you hit enter so that's save position that's the first one let's go down to record settings Hit enter, the record library, if I hit 
that button again it shows me all of the recordings and I can just kind of scroll and go to the one I want to get to uh, and you showed see that it shows that the uh, the year month date and some other information there the wave file and how uh, and what time the file was created if I hit again it plays that particular file. Now it doesn't go back to it but if I go back here it's still on the record settings which I do like that it will always come back to the last menu item that you were on. So there's the library record format hit enter and you have you can record in WAV or MP3 depending on what you want to do. Right now it's in WAV form and I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to hit the stop button and I'm going to go down to this next one first and then I'm going to come back to that one. This is set record bit rate. Now if I hit enter here you're going to see the different bit rates. Right now I'm sitting at 256 kilobytes per second. You have 512 and 1536 and you can pick any of those oops I hit the stop button sorry. You can pick any of those and lock them in. Now if I come out I'm going to go back up to record format and I'm going to hit enter again. If I switch the format to mp3 hit lock that in. Now I'm going to go back down to the record set record bitrate and you see it has changed to the mp3 bitrate. So now you got 32, 64, and 128. So that's how you change those depending on the one you set it on. It's the one it's going to record on. Come back, go down to this. We got track VOR mode and hit enter. This is automatic voice recording. I'm not sure what VOR means. This is again, this is some stuff that was not covered in the menu. Uh, I mean the manual. So if I hit enter right now automatic voice recording is off. Now automatic voice recording is sitting the recorder to record audio when it hears audio. Okay so if I turn this on go up hit now it's switched on. I come down here to the next automatic voice record level hit enter and you see we have these different levels. What this is is not the volume of the recording. This is actually the sensitivity of the recorder. So right now I sit on level one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it to a higher level here. I'm going to go let's say level six. I'm going to go all the way up and I'm going to lock that in. Now if I come out well, I can just hit record. Notice it's set at zero. Now it's recording. I'm going to be quiet. It start recording. If I start talking again, it starts recording again. If I stop, recording. So, level six is actually the least sensitive. Level one is the most sensitive setting. So let's go record form. Let's enter that one. You have the microphone, which is what it sit on, and you have line in in case you're plugging this into something to record a line in. So basically that's it. If I hit enter, that's all it's doing is switching between the two formats. LED. This turns this little inside of here, you notice the record button, the little red LED, all it does is turn it off so that it's not on if you're recording. So I like it on and blinking, so that's what that does. Noise reduction. 
open close. I think this actually sh means should say on and off. I've tried the noise reduction and I did not notice a difference in the sound, but there might be, but I didn't notice a difference in the sound. So you can turn noise reduction on or off, but it says open and close. Monitor switch, another one that's not covered. Like again, a lot of these things aren't covered in the manual. I do not know what monitor switch is. I can't figure that one out. I turned it on, turned it off, and play with this thing, and I cannot figure out what that's supposed to do. So that's record settings and the record menu. I'm gonna back out. Wait a minute. We're gonna go down to the next folder, which is playing set. So if we go in here, we hit enter, we can have it repeat which means, hey, I'm sorry, it can repeat all, which is where I have it set. Repeat one, which is just repeat one track over and over again, or a shuffle. Repeat settings. You can have replay intervals. I honestly don't know what that is. Replay timers. Don't know what that is. Replay mode. Repeat mode. And when I does that, it goes right into the and in repeating, uh, playing one of the, the things. So I guess it has play mode. Now let's go into sound settings. Let's see, we're in. Here we have an equalizer. It's off. This is kind of like an MP3 player. Again, if you're you got a bunch of different EQ sound outputs that you can use to listen to your music or listen to what's on here. Back out of that, and we have variable play speed. If you're getting that, this will actually adjust your playback speed. Speed. It won't do a drastic increase or a drastic decrease, but it will increase uh, your playback. Why you want to really do that, I don't know, but it will increase up to, let me see, I think it's seven, eight, yeah, up to eight, or it will slow back the playback. And it's not too drastic that like you're, you know, uh, you have something and it sounds like a Mickey, Mo a Mickey Mouse voice or anything. It's, it's just fast enough that you notice that it has been increased or slowed down. Come back out of there. Bookmark. Let's go down to that. Here's where you can add bookmarks in case you're doing like a really long record uh, recording. You can set bookmarks that at so often that it takes and it chops up the file that is not say you're recording something for an hour and you want to bookmark every 15 minutes here's where you go in and set those bookmarks so I'm not going to go all into that one let's go down let's see that was that so we're going to go out of that and let's go down to the set folder. Here you can set a sleep timer. Right now it's off and you can go into that and set that. I won't get into that one too much. Backlight timer. Sit for 30 seconds or you can always have it on. I think it starts at 10 seconds, 20, 30. Oops, I went too far. Back in the settings. The next one is brightness, self explanatory. It's right now set at 16, so you can adjust the brightness. You can kind of see it's changing there. Back out of that. And here you set your date and time. I won't go into that, but 
simply go in you can set the date time format well we'll enter it a little bit uh oh the time the date you can set the format you can set it for uh, kind of a regular time you can have it at, at what I call military time uh, you can set the date in you know year month date however you want to set those that is in there and we have language there's a multitude of languages in here go down to tools in here you have auto record if I hit enter you can turn that on and this thing will you can set it up to just auto record it'll come on and record at a certain time of the day and it will stop recording you say hey I want you to record from 1115 to 1125 in the morning and it would automatically turn itself on record and shut itself down um, whole bunch of settings in that to do that so kind of get into some spy stuff there and you have here where you can go in and set a password where someone can't go in and listen to your recordings and stuff of that nature and one more let's go down disk space and hit enter there here it shows your free space on your disk it says 8027 megabytes if we were uh, again, that's internal memory. I guess if you had an SD card, and remember we had what you consider the TF or the internal memory. If you had the TF and you go to space and you'll be able to see that. And factory settings. Here where you can reset it. We're not going to mess with that. And let's back out of this. Have to remember what button to push. And our last menu item here is delete. You can delete one thing or all the information right here. Another way that you can delete, and that was the last folder. I'm just going to show you this real quick. If I come out of here on the side, remember on the back here we have a delete. If you hold this, click on it, delete all of one, move the cursor. Do you want to delete? Yes. And it is deleting all of the uh, voice recording. So guys, there's a around the world of <laughs> this SK502 voice recorder. And I will be doing a comparison video between the audio between these two the Sony and this no name brand and we'll see how that works out thank you guys for dropping by y'all stay blessed talk to you later